The following is a fan-based parody. The voices in this video were created by AI tools and do not represent the real-life figures of said voices. Opinions and topics discussed by the characters in question are written purely as satire and do not reflect their real-life counterparts' opinions or the writer's opinion on the matter. The purpose of this video is purely for entertainment. Thanks to all channel members and donators. Your support makes these videos possible. What's up, baby boys and baby they thems? It's the J Meister back at it again with the Crocs. How are we all today? You always have the strangest intros, Joe. I'm feeling good. I feel like we rocked the pilot episode here on youtube.com forward slash game producer six. How are you, Donnie? I'm great, boys. There must be something in the air because I feel so happy around you two. I'm not even angry at you anymore. The world just feels so wonderful right now. How are you doing, Mr. Mac Blowy? Just doing a quick team recap from the last episode. Here we have everybody's favorite blue dragon steel type, Arch Aladon. So we should be good to go. D. Alga called. He said, your time is up. Fly Amigo ain't anybody's favorite just yet, Sleepy Joe. I believe you're about to run it up on Brock this episode, yes? Whoa, wait, someone stop me. The game has gone turbo. Ninja ass nips. Let go of B. Ah, uh, that's much better. Anyways, I believe you told me off screen there was a trainer school where I could learn about this game's mechanics, Barack. I'm surprised you two are letting me near a building like this. There's literally nothing more you can do but talk to the NPCs, so they aren't in danger right now. Is that a challenge? Don't make me HMO2 over to your house and chow down on that fresh white meow stick you gained, Donnie. I'll be enjoying that meal more than the guild master with a perfect apple. Leave my juicy steenie out of this. I can see you're mashing through the dialogue here, Joe. Shouldn't you be reading it off to our audience to explain more in depth how fused Pokemon work? How many times must I remind you that English isn't my first language? Plus, Barack is about to give us the rundown right now. Take it away, Spectrier. I guess that means your fighting words don't affect me. So, sock on my balls, Mr. President. See, who's our good chore boy? Wait, what? Why are you disobeying me, Barack? Do I not have enough badges to tame you? I explained enough of the game last episode. I'm not a walking tutorial spupa spewer. You two have to pay attention as well, you know. Oh, love dicks on some s'more sticks. I can't believe you two are doing me dirty like this. I better focus up. Great. I can't wait to hear your presentation to the class as even I am as unaware as a woobat when it comes to the nitty gritty of this game. Have you been up to anything since the last episode, Donathan? You're living up to your name pretty well, Obama Snow, with your stupid soundproof ability. Since the last video, my voice has become quite irritating to listen to. They're looking for a cure in all 11 medical labs located across the US. Suffice to say, they haven't been able to find a natural cure yet. Quite a shame in that. Oh, really? I hadn't noticed. Sorry to hear about your fall from Serene Grace Donnie. Is there anything we can do to help? The doctor said that the best medicine is to hit that subscribe button, as only 20% of our viewers are actually subbed to the channel. He said it's the best medical practice we can do, as anything involving potions or full heels is way too expensive in the real world. With enough subscribers, he said Joe and I should have our voices back before this series gets its movie adaptation. Sweet, and here's our first encounter for the episode. The freaking king of the shrews, now that is some sick combination potential. Two physical-based monsters ain't too bad. It just further boosts their best stats. Not a horrible encounter. Also, welcome back, Joe. Go ahead and explain to us what useful knowledge you have obtained from your favorite facility. Let me compose myself first. I don't want to screw this up like a magnemite. We'll get in the magna zone like Fly Amigo. The viewers are patiently waiting like some Gen 5 remakes. Okay. TLDR, when a Pokemon gets bodied, it skews the physical traits of a fusion. And if the other one gives you head, it impacts the special stats more. That's my understanding anyway. Donald, did you understand any of that? I think this is what he means as a general rule of thumb. The first Pokemon selected is the body, and the second is the head. Stats are mostly averaged out, but the body of the fusion has more of an influence on the physical attack, defense, and speed of the amalgamation, while the head, more so, determines the special stats and HP. I guess because it's the brain. That makes it a little easier to remember. So, if you want a fast special attacker, use Alakazam first, and a Hunt Tail second, but if you want the physical traits so this slithery nightmare can utilize the elemental punches, swap them around, I guess that sort of adds up. Speaking of, add one up on our capture tally because this thing is ours. 
Would you like to nickname it Barack since I owe you one for last time? Nah, I'll save it for something that really counts. Go ahead with your own original and creative nickname, Joe. Welcome aboard, King Shrew, the King of the Shrews. That nickname is about as unoriginal as the BDSP remakes. I wouldn't be proud of that comparison, Sleepy Joe. Quick note, this guy has the same typing as Gastrodon, so it should be easy to remember his weaknesses. To be honest, guys, I'm not feeling the best today. You two don't have to worry. It's just when it comes to- Oh my to God. It. Holy mommy, Miltank Milkers, he's so cool. Why couldn't you catch this guy for us, Joe? You frozen, flaccid dugong dick stain. You're as useless as a sap sip and saws, Buck. I hope you never experience love and lust and happiness ever again, you Teddy Ursa toenail sucker. Whoa, whoa, that crosses the line, Donald. I wouldn't bestow such an insult on anyone even if I was an execute. Sorry for that outburst, Joe. Go ahead, what were you trying to say? Um, you know what, boys, it doesn't matter. You've both made your considerations for me very clear. Come on, Joey. Don't bring down the mood like you're using the move. Gravity, what's wrong with you, buddy old pal? Donald's right. Let us lift up your spirits as if we just got the key to complete the rocket hideout. What's up, my man? Alas, I'm a little upset as I was trying to master a technique passed down through the Biden clan specifically for this episode, but I haven't been able to nail it just yet. Maybe it's because you aren't in your original body? Try concentrating your ki or chakra or nen or whatever power source Bush has and adapt to it like a Lucario. Okay, I've focused my energy a little bit, but considering I'm in the driver's seat, this ability might not amount to much. I will, however, do my best for you, sexy Donald. For the love of shiny Jangmo, oh, stop calling me that Joe. You love it, you dirty, stenchy, mucky muck little bitch. What are the odds? A bisexual bat is our encounter. Don't even think about nibbling on its delectable ears, Donnie. The world knows what happened last time you did that, you irresistible little flittle. Two episodes in, and the both of you already want to use body press on each other. Can't say I'm even surprised anymore. All I did was offer some genuine advice. How am I to blame it all here? If you stopped giving me them baby doll eyes, I wouldn't want to eviscerate that voluptuous vulpix of yours. Can't believe you just said that, but please keep the name appropriate, Joe. I'm gonna call this dude Bat Boy. You all may have heard of the Batman comic books and series, but little did you know it was originally a Chinese cartoon show that was brought over to the West in the late 1800s. OMG, China, you've been forgiven, buddy. Immediately a lie since TVs weren't invented, but go on, chatter some more dotler dung, Joe. Shut up, Salandit. My bestie was talking. Proceed, Joe. As I was saying, they had to revise and change a lot of the characters and story, which is how we ended up with the Batman you know and love today. They say there were like 30 plus rules they had to rework. I'm not even kidding. Just Google Batboy Rule 34 and you will find it. Well, that's my evening sorted. Yay! Are none of you going to comment on the fact we got an X item that boosts our Pokemon's special attack by six stages? I know we aren't using items in battle, but why would the game give us this thing if not to foreshadow an incredibly tough boss? I don't want to think about this nightmare anymore. Ask your comment questions, Joe. Sure thing, but first, let me get it straight. Unlike your penis. We ask one comment from our free-to-play viewers in the comment section, and the other one comes from our pay-to-win players who have donated even as little as $1 on our Buy Me A Coffee page. Is that how we're doing it up in here? That's precisely it, Joe. To clarify for our viewers, there's no need to comment your question again on every episode if you have already asked one. If you think of another question, then by all means, feel free to leave it down below. But we could answer a comment question from episode one, even 20 videos down the line. Instead, why not answer the comment question of the day with us? What's in store for us today, Joey McDoey? Microsoft Edge is just about done loading the page here. Give me a sec. Holy braviary biscuits. We've already got a living legend for this series. The real president, John F. Kennedy, asks, if him and a sniper rifle were in a Pokemon game, who would you choose? I loved your presidential reign, by the way. Oh yeah? Name three things he did while in power. John was in power? I'm more of a Makama ass woofer myself, but to each their own. Um, firstly, he did the stuff. Then he went on to do the other thing. Then finally, he started the whatchamacallit. Damn! I really didn't think you would get all three, but you bested me this time. Anyways, boys, I assume we are all picking our home slice, right? Yep. I picked John because he Fs with my Kennedy. 
Well, you know my choice, boyos. I'm 720 quick scoping with the freaking sniper called Spearro for the final kill cam. Who's that at the top of the leaderboard? Why, it's none other than Donnie Harvey Oswald Builder. 69, baby. You're doing what to the babies? And what the hell is kick soaping? Barack, help me understand here. It's better that you don't know Joe. Maybe we should answer another question instead and cut that last one out. Okay, DM-me4j asks, which Pokemon got JFK? Oh God, not again. You already know. I'm pulling out the golden snipey sniper called Donnie, AKA the Fearow, and running the drills through JFK while he AFK. He doesn't want to see my sick 1080 swiffle scoping skills. Motherfucker! Your KD is Chinchow Balls. I don't want to hear it, Donald. Just ask the next question, Joe. Rats on the 20 Socks donation asks, how many pukumukus using helping hand fit around Mega Obama Snow's maliciously delicious diglet slash Rayquaza, or rather Digquaza? before the aforementioned Pukumukus make its ancient power activate, spewing a hyperbeam that causes its climax to drag an ascent and earthquake from unloading its gyro balls? All right, I cannot get on board with this. From what angle do you even take to answer such an insanely, terrifyingly wild- 83. What was that, Barack? 83, that is your answer. 83, Pukumukus. This guy will trade us a Weedle X Zubat if any of you would like one. No. no. Okay then, you ab soul assholes. Viewers, be sure to answer the comment question down below. All right, according to the script, you have to chat to the NPCs around the city before challenging the gym to see if any of them give side quests. Sick feature, by the way, this game is kilowattral crazy. Speaking of, a lot of manga viewers are speculating I gain another powerful form in real life using the alias Black Panther. Horrible movie, but supposedly his power transcends even Sukuna's. <laughs> a lot of people are saying this dark Brandon would beat the shroomish shit out of you. Would you stand a chance, Obama? Hmm. Sukuna is telling me that is a name he vaguely remembers from the Heian era. If that Sunflora sunglass posing punk used his licky licky ice cream powered cum shot, things could get dicey. But would you lose? Nah, I'd win. How the houndoom heck did you just turn 2D, Barack? That was funny. Do it again. Do it. Well, from the viewer's perspective, aren't we always 2D? Ligma shield, activate. Nice attempt, I will never fall for the classic. Insert two of D's nuts in your mouth. You know what, Donald? You're actually right on that one. Why, thank you, Joe Biden. No problem, the Lorex. Anyways, back to you, Mr. Game & Watch. Dark Brendan would clap your cheeks like a Smash Bros end screen. I don't wanna hear it. Stop the Caterpie cap. Here's the real question we should be asking. Who would win with no powers? Super saving Majin Jew, Donald Throat Goat, SSJJ Trump, Clump Stump, Bob Bump, Crump Ketchum, or Obama Sukuna fingered 22 times. What's stronger, Donald's will to live or diabetes? Odds are in at a clean eight to one. Hey Joe, who'd win in a Pokemon battle? Day one or a rock throw? Sigh. This gym is fire type. We might even see him. Donald, come on, that was too far. Don't mind him, Joe. Why don't I come over to your house tonight and we have a little drinking sesh, huh? Give me a new bad habit for this series. You can chillax like a munchlax while I grab the whiskey and pour you a glass on the rocks. Oh, shimmy, shwoop, I'm so sorry. It's okay, Barack. I'm glad these sneaky disses are out in the open air. They were always just a stone's throw away. Freaking bars. What exactly are we looking at here? Is it a fire cannon or a flaming sword hilt? Or could it possibly be a meat thermometer? I feel better knowing you're back on that meat grind mentality, Donald. I don't really care what it's a reference to. You better roll him out with the rollout, Joe. Don't diss the King Shrew. Not even a berry can save him from this next round. I mean, with how the burn cut scales, I don't think you're winning this exchange. Long live the King. Shut up, Scarface, before I send the Dawn after you. No fan. We all know if anyone is killing a Pokemon first this run, it's gonna be you. Come back to me if you can even beat Barack's dad. Wait, what? Papa, have you finally come back with the Moo Moo Milk? I'm about to beat Barack's dad harder than Barack's dad beat him all those years ago. Literally impossible, but keep on dreaming, you Musharna Molly Whopper. All right, I'll stop dissing you for once because let's face it, the God Duck solos this gym easily. Having a rock water type for a fire gym is a free ticket to victory. What more could you ask for? How can Brock be light years away when I can see him from where I'm standing right now? He's maybe a solid eight steps north. 
Have you been supplying to this kid again, Barack? Not since you snitched on me to the popo, no nanas. Thanks for that, by the way, Joe. No problem, Mr. Murkrow. Now, why am I feeling gooey and sticky just looking at this Drago Charmeleon looking thing? Excuse me? All right, boys, from the top. Drag it, drag it, drag it, drag it, drag it, Charmeleon. You come on, Joe. You come on, Joe. Viewers, I am so sorry you had to hear that monstrosity. Remember, you can refund this series up to the fourth episode if you're not satisfied with the service. Sorry, Barack, did you say something? I just saw Donald's Discord icon light up, then all of a sudden my ears started bleeding out. If any of you could call emergency services right now, I would really appreciate it. Stop being a surskit sissy and get over it. Bleeding out isn't a status effect in Pokemon, so therefore it's not fatal. You're just jealous that my hit single, Charma Charmeleon, surpassed Dick Shop on the Billboard Top 100s a while ago. Is that 25 weeks straight it's been number one? I can't remember. You lose track after dominating the market for so long. Oh, wow, wow, wow. I just found the cure for burst eardrums, speaking such bullshit that I have to make a response. I created a story, a legacy, an immaculate trap classic. That pitiful attempt at a parody that you just performed. Let me clarify one thing, Donald. You cannot sing. That was more out of tune than the Island Boys. So go put your vest on and sweet kiss your brother or whatever you get up to in your spare time. I caught the pokey pun, but please tell me that whole sentence was a joke. We say some messed up shit on this channel, but we would never commit such a heinous act. I'll let you off the hook like a failed fishing attempt, only because I want this run to stay alive so I get a turn next episode, you lucky Lorantis lover. Good girl. Now be quiet while I quickly go heal our team before the big fight. What the Rosalia am I listening to? That was dreepy creepy even by your starmy stain standards, Joe. Arigato, Barack Chan, big ups on that one. I'm expecting a huge dub coming out of this gym, so keep your eyes peeled and your mind awake, sleepinator. I'll lead with the king, the kid, the goat, the god shrew, then pivot to the god duck and Brock should be curtains. I'm pretty sure he only has two Pokemon, right? Yes, but think about it this way. He could have any Pokemon just fused with a fire type. He could have a fire Metagross, a fire Darkrai, even a double fire Typhlosion. Wait, did that say I have to choose two Pokemon to lock in against his? I can't use my full team? Oh, sweet, big apples. Now that is interesting. Don't overthink it. Just bring our two best and most reliable monsters. You're right, you're right. Good cop and the God Duck should be capable. I don't understand why you two are sweating buckets over the first gym leader. We know his ace is level 12 because of our level limit. How bad could it really get? He could lead a legendary. Please no! Gasp! It's him! Day one, come back to me! Here we go. It's okay, my sweet prince. There's no rock types around to hurt you anymore. He says, standing in the first rock gym ever created. Hold on, guys. Am I going crazy from that rubber room? You absolutely are, but what's your point? Does he look genuinely happier without us as his master? That's just his clone. Day two. Now send him to the ho -oh heaven like your name is Wallace. No, Donnie, it's okay. I have fully accepted his loss, but we all make mistakes. Things are fine. I feel great. I hope you're feeling good enough to take this beast down. Jesus! Wait a second, I can sense your power surging through the battle, Joe. Have you finally unlocked your innate potential? Go ahead and roar at me, you Vullian. Sorry to tell you that in regards to Pokemon battling, I'm overwhelmingly stronger. What the? Your true form is back? Barack, are you seeing this? I am feeling this right now. What's going on? Joey Mac Blowy, your pure power is insane right now. No Metatite. I am honored to be witnessing such an incredible battle. You know who else is the honored one? Imaginary technique, Biden Blast. Nice, I clutched it out in the end. Let's freaking go. Pulls off some of the craziest and coolest shit that we've ever seen in our lives. Ends it off with LFG. Are you gonna explain, Joe? Frankly, I don't care what just happened because it means the run lives on to die another day. These chumps even cheer for you on the way out. I cannot wait for that to absolutely not blow up my ego and give me a bigger head than a drift limb. What is there to explain? I got the win. Your father is a fraud, so what? No big deal. It's all fun and games until my dad brings out the belt and mustard fused Pokemon. It's even scarier, he has a more terrifying monster that he only unzips when he is serious. 
Okay, I've heard enough about Brock's solid rock onyx for today. Say, Joe, did I see something about being gifted a Wonder Trade ticket? Yeah, apparently it's a free trade or something up the Pokey Center stairs. I have no idea. I was more focused on the Calm Mind TM we got. Were either of you paying attention? I'll explain what's going on. Viewers, we will need your input here. This game has Wonder Trade tickets, which we seem to obtain after every gym fight. These tickets can be utilized here in the Pokemon Center to trade away one of our monsters to receive another. Do you think we should go out into the wild and catch a fodder Pokemon to trade away, effectively giving us an extra capture after every gym leader? Or should we only be able to trade away Pokemon we can naturally catch or obtain through standard Nuz lock rules? Personally, I'm a fan of the latter since we could send off a weak fusion in the hopes of getting a better Pokemon from the trade, but it's never a guarantee. There's a bit of a risk and reward system at play. The benefits of the former is that there's a better chance to show off more fusions throughout the game just by having more materials to work with. Let us know down below which rule we should follow. Serious question, boys. Y'all think Okie Dogie is packing it? I'm sorry? You've been forgiven, Chris Breezy. No, I mean, what is Joe trying to say? What I'm trying to say is, do you think he got that American Bulldog in him? Nani, now I'm as lost as a sword and shield expansion. What did he mean by that chat? You know, the floppy furfru, the girthy growlith, the relentless riolu, the lickable lily pup, the zesty zoroark, the hairy houndoom, the zany zaddy zamazenta, the small succulent smeargle, the delectable dachspun. Um. Um. Uh, Do you think he's got a gargantuan penis? You chootle chompers. How is that not obvious? Mr. President, are you waiting to receive his limp penis? What is the charge, eating a meal? If I had a nickel for every time Dog Dick came up in the second episode of a GP series from Joe, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. Hey, Donnie, they're still on that list, right? I think this is the eighth time I've written them down. I'm just gonna add anything with a limp penis to save on ink. Really wish I did that 712 pages before, but oh well. All right, you guns of sons, get out of here. You got a big fight coming up next episode, Donnie. Rumor has it he's Barack's dad. Why do they segregate me like this? Thank you all for watching, folks. We really appreciate all the viewers willing to stick to the series, even with these major voice changes. But remember that we should be back to normal by the end of the season. Subscribe to catch future episodes as they air. Like the video to give the algorithm a nice kick. And remember to answer the comment question down below. See you all next time.